You welcome to the City Newsroom on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu Ado. Today, the Finance Minister presented a media budget review, and this has come at a time where economies um, have had some adverse effects following the outbreak of the coronavirus um, pandemic that has really hit so many countries, so many nations across the globe. Now, government has even had to come in at a point to even cushion um, um, some pairs who were finding it difficult to move on or go about their daily lives. Today's budget will tell us how much the government is requesting um, a supplementary budget for the 2020 financial year. So a crossover to my colleague, uh, correspondent, um, parliamentary correspondent Duke Mensa Mpoko, who gave us details and highlights of what transpired in the chamber. The 275-seat Chamber of Parliament on the occasion of the 2020 Media Budget Review Statement had 135 MPs seated for the most anticipated economic policy statement in the recent history of the country. The certain arrangement put in place clearly indicated how abnormal the times are due to COVID-19. The Finance Minister Ken Oforiata in a presentation that lasted for more than two hours highlighted the impact of COVID-19 on government projections for the 2020 financial year. The expected GDP growth of 6.8% is expected to drop to 0.9%. According to the Minister, other indicators have also taken a hit. Dated fiscal estimates indicate that revenues are expected to fall short of the 2020 budget target by 13.6 billion CDs, 3.5% of revised GDP, arising from shortfalls in petroleum receipts of 5.3 billion Ghana CDs. Non-oil tax revenue of 5.1 billion Ghana CDs and non-tax revenues of 3.3 billion Ghana CDs. Mr. Speaker, expenditures on the other hand are expected to increase by 13.1 billion Ghana cities, 3.4% of revised GDP, reflecting mainly expenditures on COVID-19 preparedness and response plan, provision of health infrastructure, coronavirus alleviation program, capitalization of National Development Bank, security, elections, and payment of outstanding claims. Ken Oforiata outlined the measures government has taken so far to cushion Ghanaians and announced the 100 billion Ghana CARES program of the Kufuado administration. I'm happy to announce that in the coming weeks, the president will launch the 100 billion, Mr. Speaker, Ghana CDS development program, an ambitious and unprecedented three and a half year program called Ghana Coronavirus Alleviation Revitalization of Enterprises Support Program. The Ghana Cares Program, Mr. Speaker, or Bantampa Program, which will anchor the comprehensive transformation of our society. The Minister updated the House on the extent of resources committed towards cleaning up the financial sector. Timely intervention under this administration resulted in the saving of these locked up funds in failed banks. This was a sovereign but necessary action that in total is costing the state, Mr. Speaker, in excess of 21 billion of taxpayers' money. These are funds that could have been otherwise deployed to support the development agenda of the government. Let, us, let it be said that a serious government as we are Desperate as we were to face a broken economy as it was and fund our own programs as promised and as patriotic as we are, had absolutely no thoughts, no time, no energy or the luxury to conspire with the central bank to deliberately cause the downfall of Ghanaian banks that were already in zombie state. To fund the programs and projects in the COVID-19 era and beyond, Kenoforiata requested 11.8 billion Ghana cities in supplementary estimates. We therefore request a supplementary budget of 11 billion 896, 477, 566 cities to enable us continue this extraordinary task. 
he concluded the review statement with a summary of policies to revitalize the economy. For the next six months, reduce CST from 9% to 5%. B. Establish a 2 billion guarantee facility to support all sectors of business and job retention to get appropriate loans. C. Establish an unemployment insurance scheme. D. Create a 100 million fund, CD fund for labor and faith based organizations for retraining and skills development. Increase the CAP bus program by 150 million CDs to, among others, facilitate credit of 50 million to support the creative arts, the media, and the Conference of Independent Universities. F. Re retain provision of free water for the next three months. Retain free, and finally, Mr. Speaker, retain free electricity for all lifeline customers for the rest of the year. The minority at a press briefing in the hallways of the House described the statement as one that is empty, shocking, and disappointing. We are hearing for the first time that government has spent or intend to spend 11.1 billion Ghana cities on coronavirus expenditure alone. 11.1 billion cities. Without giving us breakdown of what the money has been used for. This is sad and it's not acceptable. We, have, we, we, we thought the minister would have used this golden opportunity to provide us some breakdown of what the 11.1 billion Ghana cities has been used for. Unfortunately, it is all Bible quotation and nothing in the, in, in the budget statement. Apart from that, I'm shocked to the bone to have heard that the original budget has said that they are going to borrow additional 18 billion. Only for us to be told today that the government is going to borrow about 44 billion Ghana cities this year. 44 billion. This means that by the end of the year 2000, 2020, Ghana's public debt would be approximately 280 billion Ghana cities from the 120 billion that they inherited.